One beautiful day in the merry month of May, the great Titanic sailed away. The captain and the lieutenant was having a few words. When the great Titanic hit that mighty iceberg, Sean was in the boiler room eating some peas and the water come damn near up to his knees. By the time Sean had took a bite of bread, that water come damn near up to his head. So Sean ran up on the deck. He said, Captain, there's water damn near up to my neck. Captain said, go back and pack the sacks that I'm sure that's enough to keep that water back. <laughs> Sean looked at the captain and said, Captain, you standing here study bullshitting and drinking. Can't you see that this big bad motherfucker is slowly sinking? <laughs> captain said, Sean, I told you to fear no doubt. Boy, I take one of these two by fours and wear your black ass out. <laughs> Sean said, Cap, said the shit you talking might have once been true. But this is one time I don't think your motherfucking talk will do. Yeah. And fuck right more, Cap. Right I'd rather be in that ocean going round and round than to be on this big bad motherfucking I can see it slowly sinking down. Yeah. And one more thing, Cap. I'll be in New York unpacking my trunk when the news reached the world that this raggedy motherfucker done right suck. Right Sean jumped in the ocean. With his black ass doing a backfield in motion. By that time, all these rich motherfuckers that come out on the top. One's been hollering, Sean, stop. I'm Hannah, the Southern Belle, and the toast of the battle. Sean, all this good pussy that you I'll give. If you just make it possible for me to live. Sean said, bitch, I like your shape and I like your plan. But you should have been talking that good shit about offering me that good hot cock when we was on dry land. <laughs> Here come another bitch, Helen Shine, Shine, said help me to save my life. Said, you know I'm the captain's wife. <laughs> said, Shine, said I've been through the cotton field. He said, I waded through the mud. He said, Shine, I must confess I'm a true soul sister. And you know that we are the same blood. Shine, said, bitch. That you can talk so sweet and you can beg so fine, but you shouldn't have brought your high yellow ass across that motherfucking color line. Said, you know that I'm the one that you call the ball room flunky. So keep your imitation white ass on this motherfucking ship and down with that hockey. Here come the captain. Oh, Sean. Oh, Mr. Sean. Says, I'll see that you treat it like a man if you'll just take me back to dry land. Sean said, Captain, you got a hell of a nerve when you deliberately run this big motherfucker into that iceberg. I can save your life. This is what Sean told the captain. Said, you know it's true. Said, but Cap, here's what I want you to do. Said, I want you to go down to the bar room and wipe your face in the sun. Then get some of them red hot coals and stick them up your butt. Jump in the ocean on that same two by four. And I may try to pull your motherfucking ass to show. <laughs> Here come the captain's mother. <gasps> Sean, oh, please save for me. To my mansion on the hill, I'll give you the key. Sean said, bitch, you old, molded, ancient, mildewed, ass, rheumatism, potent, decrepit motherfucker. You shouldn't have had your ass out here on the sea. So get your ass in gear and try to swim like me. Shine turned over and did a backhand stroke. Water shot from his ass like a motorboat. Shine swam by a shark and butted him in the side. He said, move over, big boy. We going for a ride. The shark said, look, Shine, can't you see? As of now, your black ass belong to me. Sean said, you may be king of the ocean, you may drink the sea, but you got to be a swimming motherfucker to outswim me. Sean said, look, sir, your eyes may shine and your teeth may grit. Said, but if you had any plans of eating me for supper, you better cancel that shit. The shark told Sean, said, you stroking good and you stroking fast. But if you miss one stroke, I'm going to bite you dead in a crack of your black ass. 
When the news was broadcasted that the great Titanic had hit this big iceberg, well, all right. Shine was in Chicago on Cottage Grove in 63. Yes. <laughs> Down on his knees sat a nickel I shoot and a dime I hope to pay. Right on, right on. I left 10,000 motherfuckers swinging on their ass. Yeah. 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 Everybody wondered why I didn't drown. Why you yeah. drown? But I had a cart stuck up in my ass. <laughs> So when I die, y'all can bury me deep. Yes. Put some thug of molasses at my yes. And put two fat biscuits in my hand so I can stop my way. Oh, shit.